Hey guys, Okami Girl here, and today I'm gonna be bringing you an opening of the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Cutie Mark Crew Wave 3 Wedding Bash Blind Bag Singles. Oh my gosh. What a mouthful. Anyways, I was able to purchase a full case of these on eBay, so I'm guaranteed to get all 24 figures in the set with no doubles. And if you want these figures for yourselves, I know that they're available for sale at Target and Walmart for around $2.88 each. Anyways, let's not waste any more time and go ahead and get this party started by opening up these blind bag capsules. Alrighty, so here is the giant display box that came with all the 24 Cutie Mark Crew blind capsules. I apologize for the camera angle, but this is the best I can do to fit both the display and the camera. So we're going to just work with what we got here and take a look at the first capsule right here. So the gimmick of these is that there's a whole bunch of confetti inside and you can have yourself a party by opening it up a certain way. I believe you got to first open this here and you pull the string to start the party so let's start the party guys whoa that's so great i can't wait to clean all that up mm. oh god this is gonna be such a mess ah! okay i'm gonna tell you right now i'm not a fan of the confetti it's gonna get everywhere i'm gonna have to clean it up Ugh. Like, look at this mess. Oh my gosh. I Can we have a moment of silence to the parents that buy these for their four-year-old kids, thinking of it just being a normal, like, blind figure or whatever, opening it up in the car and then just confetti everywhere in the car. You know how hard it is to vacuum cars sometimes, especially with all this confetti? Anyways, okay, so let's take a look at the first figure we got. And who do we have? Ooh, we have a glittery Rainbow Dash Equestria Girl. Okay, pretty fancy. Not a fan of all the blue in the back here. Wish there was a couple more colors, but she looks pretty cool. And let's see what her accessory is. Looks like a slice of rainbow cake. Alrighty, so that's pretty cool. And does she come with a pamphlet? Let's take a look. Rainbow Dash, dessert is her favorite part of the wedding celebration. Oh, look how cute that picture is. Oh, and then also just going to show this once, but also the multi packs that you can also look for down here and the full checklist on the back. So, anyways, let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, next figure. Let's start the party again, guys. The party is just getting started. Woo! Oh my gosh. All right. And let's see who we get inside. And in this one, it looks like we have Rarity, and she has a very glittery mane and tail. Quite lovely. And her accessory is a giant diamond. Looks like a Tom from the uh, Discord episode from season two. I'm um, not sure what this, oh, okay, I see. I'm trying to think, okay, yeah, so it kind of lays flat like this, and she kind of just like sticks in like that. That's pretty cute. Rarity, she picks out a glamorously shiny gem for the princess. <laughs> I love that picture of Rarity. She's like, oh my gosh, I don't know. Is this the perfect gem or not? Okay, so that's Rarity right there. Moving on to the next figure. We're gonna get this party started. Woo! Let's see who we have inside. Looks like Pinkie Pie. All right, and it is Pinkie Pie. So here is a very glittery Pinkie Pie with a solid mane and tail. And her accessory looks like a purse and a little heart in the front there. Oh, forgot to mention that all these figures also comes with uh, a little blue stand. I don't really see the need of it because I find they stand up fine on their own, but they do come with it. And let's take a look at her pamphlet. It says Pinkie Pie. She gallops into any celebration with a party plan in her purse. That's actually really adorable. Super cute. I love the artwork for these. All right, let's see who's next in here. And this one just didn't work. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. All the confetti. And let's see what figure we got this time. Looks like Twilight Sparkle, and I believe this is the Pearly Twilight Sparkle. Oh my gosh, this one's really pretty. I love that color. So, she has an accessory, of course, and that is a bouquet of flowers. A little paint right there on the bow, which is unfortunate, but it is super adorable, and we're just gonna sit her right in there. It says Twilight Sparkle, during the ceremony, she holds a maid of honor, a mayor of honor bouquet. <laughs> See what you did there, Hasbro, very clever. 
All right, let's go with the next one here. I'm gonna skip on the confetti opening thing. Let's see if we can just open it from the back. If that helps with the amount of confetti that gets everywhere. Oh yes, it does. Okay, so, because if not, guys, I'm gonna have to be vacuuming confetti for the next three years of my life. Anyways, I think I already know who it is because of the little, not that, because of this. I know who the figure is. It is Sunset Shimmer. Look at her. I like her arms are folded, so sassy. And her little accessory is a pink camera. She can sit in there like so. And let's see her thing. See, I had a little spoiler there. That's all right, let's go ahead and open this up. Sunset Shimmer, she takes pictures of all the wedding guests having fun. Super cute. All right, let's see who we have next. We're gonna go with the party opening, I guess. Why not? All right, there you go. I don't want people to think I'm jipping you on the party fun. Let's see who we have inside. Ooh, I think we have Shining Armor. Nope, it's DJ. Yep, looks like we have DJ Pwn3 or Vinyl Scratch and her accessories, of course, her Wub area, Wub Cannon, Wub uh, DJ Mix Station. Really awesome. This is probably my favorite, favorite one so far. And let's see her pamphlet. DJ Pwn3, she plays a song for when the princess trots down the aisle. Alrighty, that's pretty cool. Alright, next one. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to minimize the amount of confetti that goes everywhere. There we go, that works. And let's see who is inside. Oh, looks like Princess Celestia. Yes, we have Princess Celestia, and she comes with a royal throne. Let's take a look at her real quick. She has a sparkly, glittery pink mane and tail with a solid stripe of that beautiful teal green. And here is her throne. It's quite big, actually, and has lots of coloring details, which is really pretty. Her pamphlet reads, Princess Celestia, she watches the celebration from her royal throne. Let's see who we have in the next one here. And in here we have, let's see, ooh, Princess Cadence, yay! So we have a uh, pearly tr Princess Cadence, lots of beautiful colors. This one's really pretty. And her accessory is this giant wedding cake or a wedding dress. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to be. Maybe it'll say so on the pamphlet. Princess Cadence, she makes a beautiful royal bride. Okay, and I think it's a dress, so it is not a cake. I was wrong on that, but that's okay. Moving on to the next one. I keep saying I'm gonna change the way I'm opening them, but at this point, I have to vacuum everything anyway, so confetti time! Okay, wow. Let's see who's in this bag. Ooh, looks like we have Twilight Sparkle, and it is the pearly version. Really pretty. And wait a second. Didn't I already get her? Are you telling me I bought a full case and I'm getting a double? You can't, you gotta be joking me right now. What? What, they put the wrong figure in the thing and they, they gave me the Spike pamphlet and then they gave me Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I paid full price for a full case and Hasbro's terrible production gave me this. I'm triggered and I'm salted. I can't do this anymore. Okay, all right, I'm calm, we're good, we're good. Okay, so we got a double. We were supposed to get Spike. Spike's pamphlet reads that he makes the perfect royal tiara bearer. So, yeah, okay, that's fine. We're just gonna keep going like nothing, nothing happened, you know. Now I'm gonna have to go hunt around crazy trying to find Spike the Dragon because I don't have him now. That's okay, we'll be okay. We're just gonna open up the next one. Pretend that nothing happened. Let's see. All right, looks like we have shining armor. Pearly shining armor, really pretty. And his accessory is this top hat. That's pretty cool. We're just gonna stick him in here and take a look at the pamphlet. All right, and it says shining armor. This groom dresses in his formal attire. All right, let's see who's in here. Ooh, looks like 
Saitwai. We have Saitwai and her accessory. Oh, this one's my favorite. It's a chocolate dipped strawberry that looks like a tuxedo. Oh, I'm so hungry now. That is so cute. I love that so much. And let's see her pamphlet. Twilight Sparkle, her wedding gift takes skill and precision. Two of her favorite things. Oh my gosh, I want strawberries dipped in chocolate now. Those look so good. All right, this one's the last one on the bottom shelf. So we are almost halfway done. And in here, it looks like we have the translucent Fluttershy. Look how pretty this one is. I think this one's actually like the rarest one of all or whatever. Let's see, and her accessory is these uh, bells, it looks like. It looks like a little table or something, I'm not sure. But oh, she's just not going there like that. There it goes, much better. Because I think that she's the only one with both translucent hair and a body. So I think... This one's kind of like one of a kind or something. And her pamphlet reads, Fluttershy, it's her task to ring the wedding bells for her friends. Oh, super cute. Again, I can't get over how adorable the artwork is for the Cutie Mark crew. I love it so much. Moving on to the top row now. Let's see who we have in here. All right, let's see. All right, looks like we have Sea Pony Rarity. Oh my gosh, and it looks like her accessory is this giant ring. Look how big that is. All right, oh my gosh, what happened to Rarity's eye? I'm gonna cry. Guys, look at that. Why is this so dirty? Look at that. You would think that this is one of those factory rejects. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Look at that. I know sometimes I nitpick, but look at the quality on this. This is awful. This has been one opening that I will definitely never forget. All right, it says Rarity. She helps a royal couple find only the fanciest things. Next one up here. Looks like we have a present accessory and, oh yes, we got Queen, Queen Chrysalis. I can't speak. Yes, this one is awesome. Look at that. She is gorgeous. Look how cool. Oh my gosh, this is definitely one of the coolest ones. We're just gonna put her in her little present here. So cute. Okay, let's see what her pamphlet says. I'm very curious about what this one says. Queen Chrysalis, the ponies are quick to question her wedding present. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Look how cute that is. Oh, I love this one so much. Okay, this one's now currently my favorite one in the set. Okay, next one. Let's see who we have. Looks like we have Equestry Girl Pinkie Pie. Oh, look how cute she is. She has like her hands out and she's like, party. And let's see her accessory. A giant cake with some bows. Perfect for Equestry Girl Pinkie Pie. Look how cute that is. And her pamphlet reads, Pinkie Pie, she brings a cake from the bakery as a gift to the couple. So cute. All right, guys, we're gonna grab the next one up here. Let's see who we have inside. Ooh, that's a really pretty accessory. Let's see who it is. We have Pinkie Pie, just the normal standard sea pony Pinkie Pie. And her accessory is this really pretty bow um, bracelet, I think, maybe. Still really pretty. Look how cute she is. And her pamphlet reads, Pinkie Pie, she's in charge of the decorations for the wedding party. Look how cute. Ah, oh, I love this so much. All right, moving on. I think we haven't had a pull string party for a while, so let's do it. Woo! Looks like a very rainbow accessory. Probably I'm guessing it's Sea Pony Rainbow Dash. And I am correct in guessing that. Look how cute. So we have standard Sea Pony uh, Rainbow Dash here and her accessory looks to be like a cake, maybe? I'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to be, but it's super adorable. And her pamphlet reads, Rainbow Dash, she swims quickly to the celebration with a yummy treat to share. Okay, so it's a cake. I can see that. Next up right here. Ooh, this one's really bulky. Oh my gosh, look how big this accessory is. I don't even know who this could be. Ooh, it's one of the royal guards. That is awesome, but oh my gosh, look how dirty this is. Why is there so much factory dirt on these? Oh gosh, definitely need to give these a cleaning later. But this one's super adorable. Look how cute that is. I love this one so much. That's definitely a character I never thought I would see in toy form. And his little accessory here looks like a giant uh, chariot. That's super cool. Royal guard, he guards the castle for the big ceremony. Look, he's like so stoic, I love it. That's so cute. All right guys, we only have six more left. Guess it's party time. Woo! Okay, let's see who we have in here. 
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Another DJ? When you buy a full case of something, you think you're gonna get a full set. Obviously, that's not the case. So here I am with another double DJ. I know normally I wouldn't care, but when you pay extra to be guaranteed a full case, you want one of every one. But okay, that's fine. We're not gonna let that keep us down. We're gonna move on to the next one. See who we have inside. Maybe by pulling the string, we can get some more luck. No, 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 what is this? Not another one of these. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, another pearly twilight. Uh. She also comes with the Spike the Dragon pamphlet. What is this? Am I just not gonna get a spike? Um, all right, come on. I at least want flurry hearts. I think that's one of the last characters that's not main six so let's at least get flurry heart and would love an actual spike and not a spike pamphlet okay no we're good i think we're good a question girl rarity do we already have her i can't even remember i don't think we do i don't think we do i think this one's a new one okay a question girl rarity sparkly mane really pretty okay cool cool not a double so far we're good Okay, so I don't remember this art. Uh, Rarity, the bride isn't the only one who's dressed to impress. So, we have three more. Let's keep going. And we're just gonna have the party going for all these, so let's go. All right, let's see who's inside. Oh my gosh, no! Okay, I know I already have her. It's the glitter Pinkie Pie. Uh, okay. I am very salted, okay. We're just, this is fine. We're just gonna keep going. Let's see, come on, not a double, please not a double. And it's a double. Are you kidding me right now? We got another Celestia. Okay, we got one more. We're gonna make this the party that'll last a lifetime. Let's go. Woo, last one. And it's another double. Okay, I'm gonna just calm down and collect my thoughts and um, clean up this mess because there's stuff everywhere and there's confetti everywhere and this is gonna take me several minutes to uh, clean up and vacuum. I'm gonna set everything back up again and I'm gonna give my final thoughts on the Cutie Mark Crew Wave 3 Wedding Bash. Alrighty guys, after spending 20 minutes picking up all the trash and vacuuming up all the confetti, I am ready to give my final thoughts on these figures. And oh boy, grab yourself a cup of coffee and sit down because I have quite a few things to say. But we're going to start off with the positives first. Number one, I love the fact they added some new characters this wave. From Queen Chrysalis to Baby Flurryheart, who I unfortunately didn't get, to the Royal Guard. I mean, Royal Guard is such a random character and I love the fact they made a Cutie Mark Crew figure of him. Hopefully in the continuing waves, they're going to continue to add some new characters like this. Number two, while there is quite a bit of main six repeat here, I love the fact that they included variations with the translucent, clear, sparkly plastic manes and bodies. I love that because I was very sick with wave one and the wave two, I guess, even though I never actually found wave two. The fact that it was all the same main six, either Sea Pony, regular, or Equestrian Girl, it was all the same, no variations aside from their little accessories. So I really do appreciate that. Number three, I love the artwork and the descriptions they gave for each character in this wave. I know the blind bags technically did it first, but after the first three waves of blind bags, the description and art got really terrible. Nothing interesting, and it was all really generic. While this one, it kind of has a little story for each one of them and I think that's really awesome. So those were the positives but now it is time to move on with the negatives 
and my big issue being the fact I didn't get a full set and I don't understand why. Normally with My Little Pony G4 products, when you buy a full case of something, you're guaranteed the full set. Maybe I just got super unlucky and the seller claimed that they had a full set when in reality they kind of scammed me or maybe they just didn't know themselves. Maybe Hasbro is now making it so when you buy a full case, you don't get the full set and some figures are rarer than others. I'm not entirely sure, but then again, I don't understand and what this Twilight back here, I got three of them and they came with spike pamphlets. That makes absolutely no sense. And I know that can't be the seller's fault. That's clearly a manufacturing issue. All right, Okami, just calm down. We're good. Okay. So if you did get a full case of this particular wave, please let me know in the comments, did you get a full set or did you end up with doubles like I did? Maybe I just got really bad luck and this is what I ended up with. But having six doubles, oh, that's very, very frustrating. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's move on to some smaller complaints that applies more to the wave in general. The first one being the confetti. I am not a fan of the confetti. It gets everywhere and it's a mess to clean up. I know the gimmick is fun, but in terms of practicality, it's just awful. I did buy some multi-packs that I opened off camera just for me, just because I didn't feel like I needed to have a review of them if I was gonna do a review of the full case here. And it took me 30 minutes just to open it up just so I didn't get confetti everywhere. It was just awful. Maybe I'm the only one who feels this way because I'm an adult and I'm just grumpy all the time because confetti, blah, blah, blah. But I just, I'm just not a fan. And I know that they're continuing it with Way 4. So hopefully Way 5, they will stop the whole confetti thing just because it's just so annoying to clean up. So the next issue I have is the quality control. I don't know what happened here, but some figures look really good. DJ Pwn3 right here, she looks really awesome. Perfect paint, perfect everything. But then you take a look at the Sea Pony Rarity here. How is this okay? There's no way this got past any kind of quality control. It just looks awful. Looks like a figure I got off AliExpress for a little bit cheaper, sold by one of those Chinese sellers. And I'm just, ooh, that's so frustrating. Hasbro, I give you all my money and I've been doing it for years now and all I want is a little quality control. That's all I ask for. Lastly, if you were curious to see what figures I didn't get, I didn't get Flurry Heart, which is one I really wanted. I didn't get Spike, but you bet I have his pamphlet. Uh, Fluttershy up here, I don't have a Question Girl Fluttershy and Sea Pony Twilight. Oh, and we also have Sea Pony Applejack here, who I was missing. So I'm missing six, which is really unfortunate, but it is what it is. Anyways, those are my thoughts on the My Little Pony Cutie Mark Crew Wave 3 Wedding Bash. Again, I think they're really awesome, but maybe I just ended up with the worst possible luck ever. I'm not sure, but please let me know in the comments below if you did buy a full set, did you end up with one of everyone or did you end up with doubles? Or if you're interested in these, which one of them is your favorite? And let me know if you're going to go grab some yourself. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos in the future.